Hi guys, welcome back. So today we're taking a look at Spy, Apple and Microsoft. So without further ado, let's take a look at uh, SPY. So for Spy, uh, recently we actually uh, did see a rebound from a low of around uh, 380 levels. So from the looking at the Fibonacci support level from a low of 348 to high of 418, uh, the 50% at 383 was in fact a pretty strong uh, support level here. You can see that on this particular day here, we opened lower but finished higher. And thereafter, we continue to climb back up towards the cloud resistance. So looking at the resistance on the way up for uh, SPY, so as you can see, on the way up, the cloud would act as a resistance here. And uh, compared to this, the cloud acted as a support here. So on the way down, the cloud acted as support. On the way up, the cloud acted as a resistance. And as you can see, it has been about three to five days where we are currently uh, being rejected off this cloud resistance here. So so long as we do not clear this resistance, then it's likely for us to continue uh, uh, trading sideways. So looking at the Fibonacci resistance on the way up from a low of 380.65 and the recent high was around 418.31. We are looking at the two critical uh, support levels, uh, resistance level rather. First one will be $400, the psychological resistance. And thereafter will be the 61.8% at 403, 404 levels. So in the event that we can clear these two resistance, 410 and potentially 418 would be our next two uh, short-term target for SPY. As for the support to watch out for, we'll be looking at this blue conversion line and red baseline. Currently, it's around 393 and 394. If you can hold this uh, intraday, that will be a good sign for uh, uh, SPY. So moving on to Apple. So for Apple, it seems to be uh, breaking out. Uh, hopefully, this is not a, a fake breakout. So from a recent low of around 1 to 4 levels, and the recent high of 176, you can clearly see that this 61.8% was in fact the initial resistance here. But uh, we did see a pullback down. So this pullback seems to be well supported once again at this 61.8% at 144 levels. So this was a very critical support that we have to hold. So so long as we are able to hold this uh, level of uh, support here, so if this uh, previous resistance can turn into support, that will be a good sign for Apple. And thereafter, we may see more upside towards it. So after 156, where exactly are the next two resistance to watch out for? So the immediate resistance will be 165. And thereafter, we are looking at a potential retest back of 176.15. As for the two supports to watch out for, the first support will be this blue conversion line here. It's currently sitting at around 156. And the second support will be around 153 levels. So if you can see, uh, we can hold these two supports, then potentially we may see more upside for Apple. So let's move on to Microsoft. So for Microsoft, uh, quite a similar pattern. You can see that we actually break out of the previous uh, high here. And hopefully we can hold this uh, previous uh, resistance, turn into support. That would be a good sign for Microsoft. So as you can see, Microsoft actually uh, cleared this 78.6%. It's currently at this resistance itself. If we can clear it, then potentially we may retest back the 294.18 which it seems to be uh, pretty optimistic uh, for now. So looking at the two supports to watch out for, the first one will be this blue conversion line, currently around 271. That is a first support to watch out. Second one will be the 264 at this uh, red baseline. So as you can see, uh, compared to Apple, Microsoft was in fact a weaker from a low of 213.43 to 276. We hit, we hit this uh, 50% at around 245 levels before uh, turning up. Hopefully, if this can become a, a higher low compared to this low, and we can start creating a higher high compared to this high, then potentially we may see more upside for uh, Microsoft, Apple, and potentially uh, Spy as well. So hopefully, we see more buyers stepping back in for both Apple and Microsoft, and overall, the sentiment should improve from there. So if there's any changes, I'll give you guys an update. Thanks for stopping by. Till we meet again, appreciate the manipulation.